Well, hey everybody, this is a bit of a different video today. More of a how to uh, replace the internal battery on a BioLite stove. This is a Gen 1. I've uh, been following BioLite since um, 2010 uh, when this was in the prototype stage. I pre ordered this uh, in March 2011 and it was delivered June 2012. So uh, I've had this over six years, and it's served faithfully on several backpacking expeditions. But unfortunately, I stored it in the attic, and uh, it, <laughs> in the summertime, it gets up to extreme temperatures, about 125 degrees Fahrenheit, which is approximately 52 Celsius for our metric friends. So um, not favorable conditions for batteries. So the internal battery is toast. You can see it's... um charging here it's got the status light blinking uh, and when I turn it on you can hear the fan running at normal speed uh, on low to uh, stoke the initial flame until it can generate enough heat to uh, kick over to high but when I unplug it the internal battery takes over and you can hear the the change in pitch of the fan speed and then it just kind of cuts out, so. So uh, I'm thinking the eternal battery is dead and uh, we'll have to replace it. I got a replacement. I checked online, I found uh, some pictures of someone who had uh, disassembled one. Uh, and I checked the, what the uh, battery was rated for. This is a 3.7 volt, I don't know if you can see it. 3.7 volt and uh, 650 milliamp hour uh, lithium ion rechargeable an RCR 123A um, this uh, particular one has a circuit board that prevents overcharging and over discharging so hopefully that won't interfere with the internal circuitry of the BioLite um, but uh, we'll throw that in there and see what uh, what happens the um, Internal battery has pigtails on it, which I'll have to cut and solder. I decided to get one of these uh, battery holders to uh, hold on to this rechargeable battery inside. There seem to be, a in the, from the photos, there seem to be a decent amount of room inside uh, to work with, so this should fit. All right, I'll just solder the, the leads onto the uh, carrier here and uh, go from there. So. Uh, I haven't opened this before, but we'll uh, take a look and uh, see what we got inside. Like I said, this was a pre-order of the initial run, so it's a Gen 1, and uh, I hopefully is the uh, same inside as the one I had seen taken apart. I thought about getting a uh, Gen 2 because they're a little fancier, a little newer, but uh, a little higher capacity, but this still works. Uh, I mean, if the battery works, it's still a fun completely functional unit, so uh, we'll just Take it apart, see if we can fix it. And uh, if not, then, well, it's six years old and it served, a, served its purpose well for the times that I needed it. But hopefully we can get it working again. Truth. Let's see if we can get this apart. Without breaking anything. Seems to be hung up on something. Maybe some of these screws are still slightly threaded. There we go, yeah. Alright. So, uh, here are the guts of the BioLite. Got a heat sink. This is the fan and squirrel cage. Um, I don't know what that is. You got your circuitry, internal circuit board there, charging circuitry. Uh, and the battery here. Ah, it's got a little battery 
kind of carrier right there. So let me get this out of here. All right. There we go. So here is the battery. It is showing a. Read this or not? Uh, lithium ion. It's the battery itself is an ICR one seven three three five. That's a six hundred fifty milliamp hour three point six volt. What it says here. So it looks like it's kind of bulging there. Maybe this bad. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try to um, remove this uh, pigtail and uh, solder it onto this. Perhaps it should maybe fit like this. Eh? Well. So anyway, we'll uh, peel this open and. Uh, See what we got inside for the leads. All right, so I got the uh, outer uh, shrink wrap off of this. Uh, interesting turn of events. This is a it's listed as an ICR one seven three three five eight hundred milliamp hour battery, uh, but it was shrink wrapped as a six fifty milliamp hour. Uh, manufacturers a uh, different uh, definition of capacity, I guess, but. Uh, you can see the uh, pigtail just um, soldered onto here, so maybe I'll just try to uh, strip these wires and uh, solder them onto this. Although, uh, I don't know if that'll fit with the clearance. Maybe I'll have to do a mock-up and see, what, uh, see if it fits. Alright, so... Um, I don't think this uh, battery holder is going to fit in there, so I kind of scrapped that idea. But I pulled these uh, leads off of the end of the battery, and I'm going to try to uh, solder it onto the new one. We'll bring it back and see how it turned out. All right, well, after a, a soldering debacle with a, my terrible soldering skills, or, well, lack thereof, I've got the uh, pigtail attached to the battery, so. I'm gonna throw it back together and see if it works. Okay, so I skipped the reassembly process because it's the exact reverse of the disassembly. But uh, now we got it all back together and uh, with the new battery inside. See uh, how it works here. Hmm. Seems to be running. It's not. Uh, Turning off immediately like the uh, old dead battery was. I hope we can hear it. It seems to be functioning as normal um, as a timeout feature where it will shut off if it's not generating enough electricity to power itself. But uh, yeah, it seems to be working right now. I'll have to test it with some actual uh, biomatter, see if it uh, works that way. But um, also throw it on the charger, see if it'll take a charge as well, and uh, bring it back. All right now for the outdoor test. Uh, see if we can get it started and running. I like to use these. I make it easy to start. It's burning a little bit.
looks like it's starting to catch there. Yeah, switch over to wood gas. Flame going here. See if uh, it's working. All right, there we go. I'm actually charging the phone as I'm filming this. It just switched over to full power mode, and uh, now has an excess of. Power. I think it may have had to charge the battery a little bit, perhaps, before it uh, switched over, but looks like it's working now. I call it a, uh, a win. Alright, so we're uh, back inside on the workbench hooked up to the charging cable. Got the status light blinking, indicating charging. So, uh, we'll leave it here for a bit and see if it uh, tops it off. All right, well, there it is. It's a couple hours later and the uh, status indicator light is solid, indicating charged. Very nice. Well, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, uh, you can leave them below. I'll try to answer them for you. Thank you for watching and uh, good luck fixing your BioLite. Stay tuned for more uh, how-to videos.